Welcome, Ongetorri, Elodie eta Jean-Pierre. E, agian, lehenengo gauza, aurkeztu dezakezu epizka bat zuen burua, nortzuk zareten, zer ikasten duzuen. Adibez, hasi Elodie eta gero Jean-Pierre, mesez? Kaixo, ya, yeah, I can start. Kaixo, my name is Elodie Lyons. Um, I am studying communication here at the University of California, Santa Barbara. Um, I'm here today because um, a big part of who I am is being Basque, um, specifically French Basque on my mother's side. Um, she moved here to the United States about 20 years ago from the um, La Purdi province, mm -hmm. um, Bayon, Bayona. Um, and I still go back every year. Um, and when I learned that UC Santa Barbara offered courses on Basque culture and language, it was an extreme surprise because most of the time when I tell people that I am Basque, they have no idea what that is. So to see um, such an important part of who I am being taught here was of extreme excitement for me. Um, and I knew I immediately had to partake in it um, so that I could learn more about myself um, and about my culture. Because claro. in France, it's very much more different than it is in Spain. Um, and a lot of us aren't as connected to our culture out there um, because of the government and the rules that are put in place. So I'm very happy to be here today and to be representing my family and my culture. Thank you. Eta, joe, mi esker, oso interesgarria ere zure familiaren bak ground hori. Eta, Jean-Pierre, Jean zure kasuan ere badituzu Euskal Herriko e, erroak edo oinarriak, ez? I certainly do. Uh, kaixo deneri, ni Jean-Pierre Echeverri naiz. Uh, I also have a family from the Basque country. I have family coming from both sides of the border, uh, French Basque and Spanish Basque. My grandparents and great grandparents were from the Basque country. I'm a student here at UCLA in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also had found out I had the opportunity to take the Basque language and culture as a class. And I thought I can't pass up the opportunity to study my own language and culture and my heritage. Uh, at, while I'm going to college. So I thought it was an extraordinary opportunity to be able to do that. So I definitely jumped at the opportunity. Uh, it's very exciting to be able to learn uh, about Basque at you know such fine universities. My sister went to UC Santa Barbara. She took the same courses there. She had a great time in those courses, which also inspired me to take these courses here. And so I'm very happy to learn more about our tremendous culture and celebrate uh, what our culture brings and upkeep the importance of the language and the culture function. and so it's very exciting to be here with all of you and very excited for this event. Oh, joe, pues eh ikusten duzuen bezala, eh oso gonbidatu bereziak ditugu. Ze proposatu zigutenean eh sola saldi hau edo sola saldi hauek ze hiru bloketan eta hiru sektore eta zentratuko gara gaurkoan, izan zen, wow, e, nolakoa da Euskalduna izatea Euskal Herrian egon gabe. Eta kasu honetan iruditzen zait, bai Jean-Pierre eta Elodi zuen kasuan, oso interesgarria litzatekela ezagutzea nola den bapatean Euskal Herrian egon gabe, e, ba, zuen kasuan estatu batuetan, Euskara ikasteko aukera izatea, elodik, eh, elodizuk ja ipatu duzu, joe, izan zela, ba, pixkat zure, zure familia, ez, nondik andatorren zure lagunei ere azaltzeko beste, beste modu bat, eta ezakin nola, izan zen momentu hori ikusten duzuela, e, badut aukera, euskara eta euskal ikasketak, euskara eta euskal kultura, e, ikasteko aukera eta nola da horretan astea Euskal Herrian egon gabe? Um, what I felt when I first learned that this was being offered at this university was surprise um, because like I mentioned when I tell people for the longest time I told people that 
I, yes, I am French. And that's what I would tell people that I am French. And when people would ask me where specifically my family was from, I would say the Basque country. And outside of Paris and maybe Versailles, nobody knows what that place is unless they're very avid travelers or fans of the country. So when I saw that this course was being offered here, I was extremely surprised because like I said, not many people know about it unless they know the country very well. Um, and it's just, the ability to be in this class and learn so much about this culture has been really amazing. I feel like I'm being connected back to a piece of myself that I didn't even know existed, but in the back of my brain, I can't help but think about how happy my ancestors hmm. must be because um, with, with the diaspora and the spread of the Basque culture, we kind of got spread everywhere. So um, the ability to take this course makes me really happy. And knowing that it was offered was really amazing because I feel like I'm connecting to who I really am and learning even more about myself through this course. Eh, gauza bat neri interesatzen zaidana da em, eh, askotan distantziarekin eh, ez dugu e, ez dugu agian ondo ezagutzen e, pues herri bat edo horrelako zerbait, ez? Eta neri kurisia piz egiten goza bada eh hasi zinetenean kursoan edo ze iruditzen uten Euskal Herria, ze iruditzen uten Euskal Herritarrez. Nola nola imaginatzen dituzu edo gaituzu edo ez dakit, ez? Pentsatu ez du herri buruz edo ez edo. Well, nothing but amazing thoughts before I took this course, because like I mentioned, I've been traveling to the Basque country since I was a baby. My first trip there, I was about, I want to say three months old, and I go every summer since. I even did primary school there for a few months. So before taking this course, my vision of the Basque country was nothing but amazing and so special. Um, I really loved how close knit the community is. That's something that I always seeked out because here in California, I'm from Los Angeles originally, we don't have a very big community of Basque people. So the only Basque community I had at home were, was my mom and I guess my American dad who loves the culture as well. But um, so I guess, yeah, I was, my vision of the Basque country was amazing because I had been so many times and I knew that there was nothing negative to say about it. And I, through learning this, I only learned more positive things, more interesting things about the country. So yeah, I had no bad view of the Basque country. They've always welcomed me with open arms. I mean, my family is Basque as well. So I guess I had to have a positive view of it. Eta bueno, Ikean Pierre, hor bota ditugu, utzi ditugu galdera, galdera batzut. Ez dakitzuk ere nola, nola bizi izan duzun, ez, e, ikasgai aukeratza, eta gero ere zen nolako ba, irudia, ez? E, zen eukan, ez dakit aldatu ote den behin ikasten jarrita? Uh, yeah, I mean, I can identify with a lot of what Elodie said. I agree with a lot of what Elodie said, you know, um, I did have a profound appreciation of my culture before taking this class. I feel like this class is only enhancing my appreciation of the culture, but I can kind of identify with, uh, well, I can definitely identify with what Elodie said about people not knowing where the Basque country is. We are such a profound people, but we are very little known throughout the world. A lot of people have no idea what Basque is if they're not from towns with big Basque diasporas, such as Bakersfield, where I'm from, or San Francisco or Boise. And so uh, my name being Jean-Pierre, when I, when I tell people my name, I go by JP usually. Uh, and then I, they say, what does that stand? This is inevitably the, how the conversation goes. What's your name, JP? What does that stand for, Jean-Pierre? Ooh, are you French? So that's a tricky question. So if I don't feel like explaining it to them because it can be a lengthy process, I'll say, yeah, I'm French. But usually what I'll say is, well, I'm actually Basque. And so then I try to enlighten them about what Basque is and they go, oh, I had no idea. So it is very exciting to be able to tell people what Basque is. I had a profound appreciation of the Basque country. I feel that I have a strong connection, perhaps not as strong as Elodie. You know, my grandparents were from there, but your mom being there, you definitely have a very strong uh, connection to the Basque country. I can tell I've been there twice a long time ago. Uh, we have a lot of relatives, cousins over there, first cousins of my parents that live over there. So we mm -hmm. stay 
pretty connected. It's a beautiful place. I have wonderful memories there. I had friends of mine last year, a bunch of friends of mine, friends of mine actually go to a Basque uh, learning camp in Gipuzkoa last year. And so oh, they got the opportunity. Exactly, exactly. And uh, uh, so when I found out I was able to do something quite similar, but over here, I thought it was pretty cool because I'm getting a similar experience to what they got, except not in the Basque country. But I'm very, I feel very lucky that we have this opportunity outside of, outside of the Basque country to bring um, the greatness and coolness of the Basque culture all over the world. So I'm very happy to be doing this. Aurreko urtean, justo egun hauetan, egon ginen hitz egiten Bakersfieldeko e, gizon batekin, deitzen zan e, Dominik, eta zan e, e, tipo hau, e, jaio zan e, Bakersfielden, eta zan Euskera irakaslea. Egin zun prozesu guztia, eta zan e, Bakersfielden jaiotako e, Euskera irakaslea. Eta oso, oso politia izan zan guretzako ere, guretzako ere oso gauza politia da. E, ezagutzea e, ba, euskal jatorria duten pertsonak eta bar munduan zehar, ez? Porque askotan, askotan ez egu gertatzen. Osea, nik oso jende gutxi ezagutzen dut euskalduna, euskal herritik kanpo, eta orduan guretzako ere oso, oso politia e, hori. E, ni daukat kuriosia bat. Eta, e, gaur egungo e, kultura erreferenteak ezagutzen ditu, ezagutzen ditu, zu, gustaren zaizkizu, e, euskal musika taldeak ja, e, jarraitzen dut aktoreren bat, ez dakit. Ezagutzen dut zerbait horrela, gustatzen zaizu den zerbait, baina, e, pues euskal dunak, zuen, adibidez. Should I go first? <laughs> um, sure, yeah. I guess I'll start. Um, I, other, I don't, like, I know of the culture, I know of the dancing, I know of the music. Do I know how to actually do any of it? Partake in it? No. Um, I would only go for a few months at a time, um, and I still do. Um, now it's mostly weeks at a time, so I never really, as a kid, learned any of the cultural things like dance. My mom did. There's pictures of her doing traditional bass dance as a kid, but um, I, I never spent enough time out there to do anything like like dancing or playing like an instrument um so I, i am aware very aware of everything because most of what i do every time i go to france um mm -hmm. specifically bayona we have bayonaco bestak which is um in uh -huh. english it's the festivities of bayon and i've been going to that every year since i was a kid and at least every time i could and a big very big part of that is a lot of cultural basque elements like dance like singing music um and so because of that i do know quite a bit but i've never actually been involved in any of it personally but i do know it and i would say that i could be able to identify it if i was you know given a picture or a song like i we do listen to music at home very often um like adam sadayak is a very popular one I, i know my parents like that one a lot but um yeah i would say i know it pretty well eta zu jean pierre gainera ipatu duzu zure kasuan ere egon e, gonzarela barnetegi Beraz, bat a bere lagun bat a vale e, bueno ez dakit horretan ere eraginik izan ote duen o sea, es referencia que está está ori Andia Gotzen y do Ugaritzen. Yeah, so I am uh, I'm a member of the Kern County Bass Club in Bakersfield. I've been involved for most of my life in various things. I've done bass dance. I did bass dancing for a long time. I'm in the Klika, the the marching band Tropeta Ekin. You know, I play the bugle and the trumpet in the Bakersfield Klika. I've sang a little bit. I play a little bit of chisbu. So I try to I've tried to dabble in a lot of different things. I love dance. I love music, especially singing. Um, and there's, you know, bass music is so beautiful and there's such a variety too. So uh, I've stayed pretty involved uh, with the bass culture most of my life. I've tried to, you know, learn bass just about in every way. I try to branch out in our uh, diverse and uh, very rich culture. And so the bass club in Bakersfield has definitely been a wonderful place to do that. We have a tremendous club. We have a tremendous bass picnic. Uh, we incorporate almost every aspect of Basque uh, culture in our picnics uh, in our, even, and in some of our smaller celebrations throughout the year, Christmas, Easter, so on and so forth. 
Uh, you know, this, I played a little bit of handball when I was younger and never got great at it, but uh, I stuck with the music mostly. But uh, I played pilota, I played a little bit of pala, I, you know, like I said, singing and music. So I've dabbled in a lot of that and all of it's so fun and so fulfilling and so great to do. And so a lot of my friends also that went to the Basque Country last summer, they have also been very involved, a lot of them from all over, but San Francisco, Boise, Fresno, Chino, all over California. And they've been, like me, very involved in Basque Country with their Basque clubs. And so those of us that live in towns with Basque centers, with Euskal mm. we're very lucky um, to have what we have. Because as I love said, Basque people really do stick together and we really make sure that we keep our culture. And it's really beautiful to see the way we do that. And so we're very lucky to have the foundation that those before us left to keep our culture alive in this country and all over the world. It's really astonishing to see. So I'm very lucky to be involved with uh, the Crown Country Bass Club. Eh, Jean-Pierre, esan bar dizut, eh, nik baino gauza tradizional gehiago egiten dituzula. <laughs> eh, nik baino gauza tradizional gehiago egiten dituzu, porque eh, nik euskaraz itza egiten dut, eta euskalduna naiz, obviamente, baina eh, agian nago gauza digitaletan gehiago, Eta ez etin ez peleta egin, ez etin ez e, euskal lantzarik egin, eta e, atentzi itzen dut, eta gustatzen zait, ikustea e, egotea tipo batekin, Kaliforniako, e, egiten dituna gauza guzti hoiek. No, I'm sure you're involved in a lot. You know, I think Basque people, Basque people are very humble. I think Basque people don't give themselves credit. I mean, I'm sure you know a little bit of, you know, dancing and singing and everything everybody knows no one likes to give themselves a lot of credit and so uh you know i you're probably just being too humble here but uh i appreciate you saying that though i try to uh i've like i said i've tried to dabble in all the different areas of our bass culture but uh, i haven't done all of them there's a couple that you know i'm trying to improve at mm. such as bass so you have the upper hand uh of me on that but uh i think all bass people are naturally very involved in their culture and i think uh you know we don't like to brag about it but we all i think care deeply about our bass culture and are involved in our own way and i think it's very important to note that so but thank oh, you for add uh, on to that sorry to cut you off no 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 continue I, continue yeah i would totally agree but so you're very lucky to be from bakersfield which has a very high population um of the bass culture and so do other places in the u.s like idaho Um, but there's also like where I'm from, I'm from Los Angeles. There is no Basque population here. And I think that combined with the fact that my family is from France and not the Spanish side, our culture is so, it's not as large. And so I think that for me, that's why I felt so disconnected from my Basque side for so long is because from where I'm from and because of the side of the Basque country that I'm from specifically, I think that's part of the reason why I also didn't partake in dancing, in music, in singing, and I absolutely would have, but um, it's not as big in Los Angeles. I have never met another Basque person there in my life, besides my mom, even here at Santa Barbara, besides my professor, I have never met another Basque person in my life. And if I had been given the opportunity, if I hadn't Ushkwalechea, I would have totally taken part in that. But because it's so concentrated to just certain areas where there's a lot of Basque people, I didn't have that opportunity, which I feel like I lacked so much from not having that. But I'm catching up now with this class. Bai, justo ni galdetzera nindoan horren inguruan ezakit zerbait galdetu nahi duzun eneko. Nik bai galdetu nahi nuen, baina eske zaukazer ikusi gehiago igual. Lasen. Ah, vale. Bota, bota, bota. Ez, e, justo elodik esan duenaren hildotik egin nahi nuen galdera, ez? Ba, pixkat, e, azken finean e, Euskal Herriti kanpo etxe pare instituturaren bitartez badaude Euskal Etxeak eta badaude ere irakurletzak. Adibidez, elodik eta jan pierren irakasleak e, maitan eta iker dira, biak Euskaldunak eta e, Santa Barbara eta eta UCLA en ba bertako unibertsitatean irakasle dira euskara eta euskal ikasketak, euskara eta euskal kultura eta horrelakoak baina horrelakoak badaudela mundu guztian zehar eta horri esker ba aukera dagoela ere ba euskara e, beste espazioetan ez ezagutzeko ba, eta 
hori kontuan hartuta nire galdera zen, baina uste dut ja elodik erantzun duela ez, ze, zer nolako eragina duen, ba, zure eremuan edo zure zonaldean e, ba, euskal etxe bat egotea edo, edo irakurletza bat e, errazten duena ba, bertako unibertsitatean edo zuki ikasten duzun unibertsitatean euskara ikasteko edo euskarara urbiltzeko aukera izatea. Um, I just... Yeah, I feel like I have so much catching up to do. Like I like I've said for the longest time when people asked me where I'm from because my name is not very common here either. So when in school, um elementary school most of the time, when my name would be called, people would ask me, "Oh, you know, Elodie, where where is that from?" and I would say France. It is a French name, but um my mother's maiden name is Aldai, which is a Basque last name as well so I've always just felt you know being here specifically in Los Angeles where there's I like I said I have never met another Basque person here besides my mom and my professor now <laughs> but in Los Angeles there the effect of not having that culture is that I felt so disconnected from it for so long of my life I mean even my family on my mom's side they they don't really it's not a big part of who they are either if you ask them they'll say that, yes, you know, their last name is Basque, and they would say that, you know, they are Basque, but they don't really partake in any activities. Um, and so the effect of being in Los Angeles, where there is not a big Basque population or culture, and being from Bayonne, where the Basque culture is also, it, it's bigger, obviously, than Los Angeles, but compared to, like, San Sebastián Donostia, it's mm -hmm. not big. And so the effect of that is that for so long, I had no connection whatsoever to the Basque country. And I wouldn't, I would not say that I was Basque, but um, since taking this class and, and learning more, I would definitely say that that's who I am now. I've had a lot of conversations with my mom about it, um, where I spoke to her and I said, you know, your, your maiden name is Aldai, that's a Basque last name. And she would be like, oh no, like I would just identify as French. And I was like, well, mom, if, if you compared yourself to another French person from Paris, you guys would have extraordinary differences in your culture. The French culture is not the same, and that's because you're from the Basque country. There's a lot of differences between us, um, but I guess just being so disconnected from it, it's made a lot of my family feel like they're not Basque or they're not <laughs> adequate enough to be Basque. And for a long time, I felt that way too. Um, but since taking this course, it's making me learn more and be prouder to be vast um, and to go every year and to be part of such an amazing place and such a strong and welcoming culture um, with so much history behind it. I'm more proud than ever since taking this class and learning even more about it. Eta pentsatu duzu, edo pentsatu duzu ebiak, e, bai elodi eta bai jan, jan pier, e, etortzea... Uste, 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 uste nire gazke, ah, bai, nire, bai, nire bai. galdera hibrido bat, uste. Vale. Um, e, kontua da, e, Euskal Herrian eta Estatu Batuetan oso kirol ezberdinak jolasten diala. Ez? Eta ni pertsonalkin naiz kirol zale, eta guztetan zei galdera hogeita. E, Jarreitz, guztetan zei zkizue kirolak? Azteko. Eta em, jarraitzen dituzu Euskal Herriko kirolak? Edo, edo e, adibidez, egon nintzen aurreko batean hitz egiten gustatzen zait e, futbol amerikarra, a ber, izango naiz zuek baino ez jakinagoa horretan, baina gustatzen zait futbol amerikarra, eta esan ziaten e, bazgola boizen, e, boiz esteitek daukala, bro, dauzkala bronkos, eta hor duan, pues, e, bazgola, bai, bronkos, e, bueno, talia. Eta batzegola e, tipo bat, Euskalduna, egiten dula blog bat, Euskaldunentzako, kontatzen e, boiz esteiteko bronkosek zer egiten duen, eta guztu hori eta guztatzen zait, e, grazia egiten dit horrek. Orduan, e, baituzte, Euskaldunek baituzte e, kirol taldea akan? Osa, bago adibidez, zakit, e, afinitatea talde batekiko edo horrela edo ez edo? Edo ikusten dezu emango kirola adibidez? Um, so growing up, um, we've definitely, um, watched or gone to like pelota games. There's a lot of the, um, I think it's called a 
I don't know what it's called. From Hayalai? I think. Oh. Uh, yeah, Hayalai, but like where they play it against. Ah, There's a lot of those everywhere. Um, so we would go see those very often as a kid, um, but it's kind of hard to access. I, I don't even know if they broadcast that here in the United States. Yeah, in, um, uh, in Orlando and uh, Miami, I think. Oh, yep. well, I've never been, but I do know there's a very big Basque population there, but I've never been. So not I don't think I've seen that in California, at least not in Los Angeles um, or Santa Barbara. But I do follow rugby if we want to count that as a Basque sport. I know it's played very often throughout the European you know, area, but I that is something that I would say that we definitely do keep up with, um, at least where my mom is from. Everybody there are very they're very big rugby fans. <laughs> so if you count that, then absolutely. Yes. Hey. Uh, we are having uh, technical issues. Um, <laughs> uh, Jean Pierre uh, can't uh, hear us, so um, uh, we should uh, we should uh, tell Jean Pierre uh, to uh, go out and going back, maybe with uh, yeah. I, I think it should solve it. I'm I'm uh, talking to 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 a teacher. Of one of you, I don't know. Eh, who, who to Iker, is, uh, Iker, 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 yeah. da, Jean Pierre, ah. eh, Irakaslea. Okay, so, so, uh, uh, his, bueno, Iker and Irakaslea. Jean Pierre and Irakaslea. Marila Coveto y Twingold. Jean, eh, Oria, Orain, Orain, Sartuca Berrio, ¿vale? Marca tú, eh. Bueno, bitartean, agian, elodie mendugula probestuta. Ni, ni nago horretan, bale, Iruñe. Bai, bai, bai. Vale. Lehen galdetu nahi nuena zen, e, ikusita ez, pues, e, zenbat gogo dituzun Euskal Herriarekin, konexio hori, e, eratzeko baino, ze eratze, eratu, ja, ja daukazu eratu, eta baina sakontzeko pentsatu duzu, e, udan et, egoten zaren egonaldia baino zeo zer luzeago e, egotea ba pizkat euskal kulturaz eta euskal kulturaz ez naiz e, e, referintzen euskal dantzak bakarrik bertsoak eta bar osea pizkat euskal herrian e, denbora pasatzea ba ikusteko nolakoa den euskal herria eta eta bueno ez dakit ja momentu honetan euskararekin nola zabiltzan, baina etorkizun batean e, barnetegi batera animatzen. Um, I have definitely thought about, um, once I finished my undergrad here at Santa Barbara, um, gaining my um, upper, my grad school at anywhere in the Basque country or just abroad. I've specifically thought about the Basque country because I feel most at home there. It really is my second home. So um, it's definitely a very high likely that I will end up somewhere within the Basque country, whether that's Spain or France to do my grad school for many reasons, it's cheaper. Um, and I have a lot of family there and the education that you get for the for the price is amazing. <laughs> so and, um, like I said, I've really, um, I don't feel at home anywhere other than the Basque country. Like if I were to stay in Paris, it wouldn't be the same. Um, so I've definitely thought about um, living there potentially. And I think that grad school would be the best place to do that because my parents have been urging me to go to grad school um, in France since I was born, just school in general. But I ended up at Santa Barbara and I am very happy, but I've definitely thought about staying abroad longer just to learn more and to experience a whole different way of life because it's very different than here in the United States. Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Okay. okay. Yeah. Bye, 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 bye. Es justo gale tu berridio vuelo diri. Hori, pues ikusita, e, zenolako konexio berezia duzuen Euskal Herriarekiko, ez bakarrik de e, ikasten e, Euskararekin eta Euskal Kulturarekin zer ikusia duten ikasketak edo ikasgai bat egiten ari zaretelako unibertsitatean, baizik eta familiako e, kontua delako, pentsatu duzu noizbait lehen aipatu duzu 
barnetegi barnetegia pentsatu duzuzuk etorkizun batean adibidez barnetegira e, animatzea adibidez ez dakit ezagutzen duzun baina bere garaian bazegoen mutil bat deitzen dela Dylan eta bera e, Inglaterrako uste dut Inglaterrakoa zela eta etortzen zen udean ere pues, e, la purdiko kostara eta horrela hasi zen euskara ikasten eta bukatu zuen YouTubeko kanal bat egiten euskaraz. <laughs> Ez dakit, o sea, si vas piskat, no le ikusten duzu zure burua animatzen ona ba denboraldi luzeagoa egitera etortzen adi ez elodik aipatu du agian pentsatzen dagoela pues ona etortzea e, intercambio edo Erasmus moduko batekin. Certainly. Certainly. I've definitely uh, considered that. I'm open to that. Um, friends of mine also intend to do something like that. The Basque Country is a beautiful place to be, a beautiful place to live. Uh, I know they have tremendous institutions over there, so that's something I would definitely consider in the future. Uh, I'm not exactly sure exactly what sort of career path I want to uh, proceed on, but I'm certainly open to going to the Basque Country to look into how to do that. So I'm open to doing that. I haven't given too much serious thought to too far in the future, but I'm definitely uh, open to that. A friend of mine wants to do, wants to study in France, and he's pretty adamant about that. So I look at options like that, and I consider um, things like that. So certainly that would be a tremendous opportunity to look at doing, and uh, I would be grateful for the opportunity to do that because, as Elodie said, I also feel like I would feel comfortable and at home in the Basque Country with all the family that I have. And just feeling the connection um, to that land that, you know, my ancestors, uh, where my ancestors lived. So uh, I would definitely consider doing that. And uh, Barkatu, uh, I do have class in just a few minutes. So I really thank you for uh, Barkatu, Barkatu. I do want to thank you guys sincerely for this opportunity. And so I'm going to have to get going. But thank you so much. This has been very fun. And I appreciate the opportunity to do this. Mi esker zuri gurekin egoteagatik eta zure denbora txotarte bat ba guri eskaintzeagatik e, oso oso eskertuak egia esan e, tortzagatik eta e, urrengo gonbiatuak ja bazkago orduan e, lo dio orain e, agurtzen gea zurekin ere eta urrengoak sartzen dia agian bide bat ez txatean nire txatean euskarazko horretan Bain. esan dute mi esker biei oso Oso interesgarria izan dela. Ah, bai, eta orain, e, orain, nahi balen bazu itzuli nahi bazu ez, e, esan dute ere, e, aupa Mariela e, oso lan ona iten nahi zela. Hori da, hori da. Vale, <laughs> vale, orduan, e, ba, e, e, lo di, e, ba, azken itzak eta bukatzen dugu hemen zuekin izketaldia. Ada, Bai, ez dakit zeu zer gehitu nahiko zenuke. Bueno, e, noiz baita animatzen baldin bazara ona etortzera, zu, zu kabixatu, eta dibez, nik iruña erakutsiko dizut, gainera baionarekin e, nola da, an, a, a, arremana ahondia dauka, asike. Yeah, thank you so much. Um... I guess just thank you for this opportunity of getting to be able to share my culture um, with all of you guys because it's a very interesting situation that I have and that many of us have, like Jean-Pierre. Um, so this opportunity has been amazing. Um, and thank you to my professor for even thinking of putting me here. Um, it's been an honor to get to speak about something that's so important to who I am and um, something that I plan to carry on with me. <laughs> for the rest of my life. So um, I definitely, I'm leaving this summer to go back. I leave in the end of June, so I'll be there. <laughs> um, I don't know about Pamplona or Irunia, I've never been, um, but I do plan to go. Um, I mean, the running of the bulls is something that my dad has spoken about forever. <laughs> so we'll make it out there one day for sure. But thank you guys so much. I really appreciate um, being able to talk to you guys about all of this and for you guys to listen so kindly. Thank you so much. Es que recasco, sorry, es que recasco. Thank you. Es que recasco. A ver, Orban, Orain, eh, a ver, bat iritsi da. 
Barkatu, eh. Es que Gaudé atropella tú ta. Bueno, bitarte. Bueno, bitarte. 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 Ah, vale. Bueno, bitarte aneta un mesubat eh nazi eh gure nazioarteko lagunei eh gonbidatu exaudete Iruñera etortzera San Ferminak agian nazioartean dira ezagunak eh entzierroengatik hau da The Running of the Bulls engatik, baina aipatu behar dut San Ferminak eh Iruñeko festak direla askoz gehiago eta animatzen zaituztet horretan barne, o sea, murgeltzera eta ambientikoaz <laughs> barkatu Mariela Bernola intzutzen duzun hau, baina pues egoten den giroa e, gozatzera. E, vale, e, eukene uste dela e, kamara itzelita dukana, pentsatu nahi dut. Porque hori eina izartzen, te igual konfunditzen nahi naiz. Bueno, eta orain, eneko, orain, aipatu berra dago, iritsi bidela, nire txatean behintzat, espero duten momentua. <risa> Dela, <risa> gubiok ingelesez entzutarena. Bai, bai eh, abizan goda, momentu kuriosa, egongo gara lako lau euskaldun, ingelesez elkarren artean. Ez? <risa> bai. <risa> David iritsi da, ez da? Pentsatu nahi ez David zehala? Bada, bada. Zela ingo gua, gu ezke, euskeraz edo ingeles ez? Ez, ingeles ez. Bai, bai, ezke Marielak deskantxatu egin bar du. Eta orduan Marielak deskantxatzeko, pues, guke ingo dugu ingeles ez. Zen hau dago, berez pentsatua, estatu batutako audientziaren tako. Ok, hori da, hori da, hori da, hori da. Bale, bale, ba, guztia, guztia ingeles ez. Bale. Eh, we are going to suffer a lot. <laughs> But we can start eh, yeah. with David. Eh, David Pilla is Vila, Vila. Vila. Sorry, is <laughs> eh, Iberian Studies teacher and he has a lot of eh, works. Uh, in academic space esparroa bueno in the <laughs> academic space but i think he is going to explain better what uh, he does so david please <laughs> sorry because i say i uh, badly your your surname so You can. <laughs> eh, ¿Cómo es? Punish so you. hate. Yes. Okay. Hate, hate. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. Ah. Okay. okay, so um so I'm going to tell you a bit about myself then. Um uh my name is David uh, Vila. Which is, I'm used to uh, But yeah, anyway, because Vila is a Galician Portuguese surname, so that's from northwestern uh, Iberian, but then northwestern Iberian Peninsula. But everyone here, they because they think that the, they speak Spanish, they immediately they say they see Vila, and they're like, "Oh no, no, I I can speak Spanish. I know you should say this, Villa. So that's the. Uh, <laughs> but I, I always have to say, actually, no, Villa has two L's. This is a different different thing. But um, yeah, so what else? Um, yeah, I'm a. Um, I work at the um, um, CSUMB, California State uh, University, um, um, Monterey Bay. I've been here for. I came to the US in 2000 and uh, uh, let me think, 2011, and I left the Basque Country in 2006. I lived in in the UK for about five years, um, in southern England and, and London. And uh, I, I play music. I'm a musician. I have a, a, a band. I have different albums that I release music with. And one of my main um, focuses um, in my research, uh, academic research, is um, um, Iberian uh, popular music. So I talk a lot about my dissertation. For instance, my PhD dissertation was about um, uh, punk in Spain and how mm -hmm. punk um, influenced the way uh, the Spanish youth thinks politically. And um, <clears throat> I don't know. That's uh, I guess for for the beginning. I could keep going, but uh, just to start with something short and nice. Okay. And 
as you say, you are a, a research, a researcher, so I think it's interesting for me, for example, uh, to ask about the reception of the of the Basque uh, in the US uh, or in the UK because you have been there uh, living, uh, living too. So what do you think the people in the US say and the UK th uh, think about our language and our country? I think there's, I mean, of course, there's different perspective, different points of view, different people. But I'd say <clears throat> there's one definite um, perspective, and that's the the people that see the Basque country and the Basque culture as something like magical, mythological, like something that is like la mía, que está basada en la like all like old, old things and uh, <laughs> like my, mythological things. And that's that's always funny because even I'd say that even many of the uh, Basque people, the the you know the the let's say the Basque American community, mm. <clears throat> they're so far away from the Basque country, and many of them came here like many years ago. Let's say a hundred years ago, they didn't go through, let's say the the the, the Franco's dictatorship. They didn't go through many things, so they have. A, vision of the Basque country that is somehow I, I'd say something that doesn't really exist mm -hmm. and uh, and instead of maybe knowing about I'm gonna say unta cortatu escorbuto la polla eh, I don't know like whatever you want to talk about it's like more recent they yes. they know they know about la mía que vas a jaunar, <laughs> eh, like eh, las cao chiqui or like, like things that are very like old <clears throat> So that's one part. Then, um, then I would say also the people that just know about the Basque country through, you know, Pinchos and San Sebastian. Yeah. So like another, maybe another stereotype too. But uh, wow. yeah. food, uh, places to visit, and uh, all the very old uh, things, right? Yeah, I, I, I have thought about that uh, many times because. Uh, many Basque people went to, to the United States uh, so long ago. So um, maybe um, the family transmission helped having uh, those uh, old uh, ideas or maybe? Yeah, and, and, and also things such as, for instance, I mean, and I'm getting... I'm going to be very critical right now here. But like, for instance, do you have to speak Basque to be Basque? Really, you don't have to speak Basque to be Basque. How many people are Basque and don't speak Basque? A, because they went through the dictatorship. They didn't have the opportunity to learn Basque. B, because maybe they just don't happen to have a Basque speaking family. They went to school and they barely can say a few things, which have, I'm from, I, I grew up in Abadino. <clears throat> mm -hmm. When I went to Bilbao to university, It, I was amazed because I was like, these people can't, they can't speak Basque. Like, obviously not everyone in Bilbao can't speak Basque, but I found people, some people that couldn't. And I was like, wow, because to me, even in, in Abadino, like even the, let's say like the, the worst students could communicate in Basque because mm -hmm. all, all our classes were in Basque, everything was in Basque. Mm -hmm. So when I went to Bilbao, I was like, oh, this is amazing. Like these people don't speak Basque. I can't believe this. Happened. So, um, In those terms, I think that people that have these old stories from you know their ancestors, they think that the sometimes that the Basque country is a place where everyone is Basque, everyone plays pelota, everyone everyone speaks Basque all the time, everyone is like doing irintis, like to wake up and hey, how you doing? Hey, hey, hey how you doing? I'm all right. And like I'm playing <clears throat> so, the chalaparta, no? <laughs> chalaparta, triquitisha, alboca. <laughs> That, that's, that's why uh, for uh, for us it's uh, fun. I think uh, for 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 um, uh, us it's fun uh, to be uh, Twitch streamers <laughs> and uh, Basque Twitch streamers. So it's like um, I, I I would say um, 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 not what uh, many Basque people uh, thinks uh, we should be. Maybe. Um, 
I'm not I'm not playing I'm I'm not playing um, as good as I would. But um, uh, you understand the point, or not? Yeah, well, uh, yeah it's like it always was expected from you as a Basque person. Yeah, like you but, should uh, you should be doing something more Basque. But, uh, <laughs> ma ma mainly mainly for um, the Asper, I think, like. Um, yeah, they 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 would expect uh, some some of them uh, would expect uh, Irinti and all that, and I think it's fun uh, to be uh, doing the the thing the the, the, the same thing uh, they like, but don't associate with uh, being Basque. Hmm. Uh, yeah, like and, and 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 that's I think, I mean that's interesting. Like my my family is not from the Basque country. My family is from Galicia. They they went to the Basque country. I'm sure you all know this that in the Basque country, like 50% of the workers in the factories were from Galicia, yep. uh, Extremadura. Like yep. they would send buses to all those places and like bring whole families, so they would go work in the Altos Hornos, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So my family speaks Galician at home. Like none of my family, like all my family is in Galicia. Even now, my parents too. Like I have no relatives in the Basque country. Uh, my my grandparents didn't. My grandma does not speak any Spanish, only Galician. So not even Basque. Am I Basque? I'm Basque. I was born in Eibar, um, and I've I've lived there 22 years. I speak Basque. I speak Basque. I, and I've spoken Galician with my family, uh, but honestly, for instance, right now, the last time I spoke Basque, it might, it might have been like a year ago, because I don't find people here. I used to live in Nashville, Tennessee, and I had two, one from um, Arrasate and, and from uh, La Rabetu, and we used to get together and speak Basque, but otherwise, I didn't really find that opportunity. But then again, what I want to say with this is, but I'm also Basque. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, we we are having uh, some issues with uh, uh, with another uh, with, with the other. Okay. Rest. Yeah. Uh, she's uh, having some difficulties to. David, to... I don't know how to ask this question, but I think uh, what you have said it's connected to what Elodie says bef uh, before uh, in our interview or this thing we are doing here. Uh, and it's the difference uh, between having an Ingurua <laughs> and Basque uh, culture environment, environment. environment? Oh. Around like around community. you, community. Yeah. yeah, or or not, and uh, she uh, for the for example, uh, she said she's from uh, Los Angeles, so the only person that uh, she had uh, she had known as Basque is uh, her mother and now my dad her basque teacher and instead of that there were there was jean pierre that he has in back in bakersfield a uh, basque community so it's different because uh, he said to us uh, he play he has to play uh, chistu, play pelota, uh, do euskal dantzak. And I think it's difference between having a community or, or not, no? Yeah, and also the, the kind of community that you can have here, like for instance in Bakersfield, which is a place with a big bus community, and so is San Francisco. But that community, unless you keep getting Basque people that come here now, which is not the case really anymore. Like it's not as much as back in the day. Um, so that community is a it's an old community that is gonna everything that's gonna like provide or, like the culture that's gonna share with the rest of the community the members of the community is gonna be a very specific culture. For instance, all those people that came um, here from the Basque country before Franco, mm. like how how do you understand what it means to be Basque now? 
without mm. having experience. That's the point. So many people, <coughs> excuse me, many people here, they get a, an, a community, but it's also not necessarily the same community, but they would get uh, with uh, a younger gen generation or like they would get in the Basque country today. And not just in terms of having gone through the detect dictatorship, other things, but in the Basque country, there's a huge uh, African population, a black population. I mean, what means to be Basque is much wider, much mm. it's much bigger, much richer than what you can communicate from 100 years ago based on Basahaunag, Talamiag, the, all these like uh, mythological things. That's the, I mean, you can be the son of a German man and uh, another black man and speak Basque and, and and live in, I don't know, in Lapurdi. Yeah. So and you're still as Basque as, you know, uh, whoever you want. Yes, so. for the, for example, uh, we we mentioned before Dylan English. Uh, he's a, a English young uh, boy man, <laughs> and he has he used to learn Basque uh, in in a few years because he used to come uh, on holidays to the to Lapurdi, and now well now. He's, he isn't uploading videos to, to his YouTube channel, but he has a YouTube channel uh, speaking Basque and explaining Basque uh, language stuff. And Suberera uh, too. It's oh. like uh, one of the most difficult uh, dialects <laughs> of the Basque language. And, uh, I, I know you know that, but for yeah, yeah. the audience. <laughs> uh, and I think, uh, as you say, that there is uh, like a bucolic vision no? of, of the Basque country and the Basque culture. How do you think uh, we can change or we can, or what uh, can we do? We can do, well, what we can do uh, to change uh, this per perception? Well, I think one of the things that, for instance, the, um, those professors or teachers that teach uh, not just Basque language and culture at universities, but any other, because <clears throat> here's the other thing, uh, mainly uh, Basque culture is taught as part of Spanish culture. Like there are only a few situations in which you have one specific class that is about Basque. For the rest, you have Spanish culture or and then the Spanish cultures, maybe in plural. And then you touch different ones. You talk about Galicia, Catalonia, you, you talk about the Basque country. But <clears throat> so it's always uh, like a tiny little part that you can that you can show. But I think that when, when we do this, I don't think um, like talking about the stereotypes is the, the best thing to do, which is, which we often do. Uh, and uh, again, like, I don't know, talking about <laughs> Escorbuto, <clears throat> talking, like talking about La Polla Records, for instance, like to me, that's as, back, that's as Basque as you can get. It communicates a specific way of being Basque and uh, and you can learn what the Basque country is today. And, and of course we can go Bercho and all that, too, but that's not just like Escorbuto, even though Escorbuto, two of them were Galician and one was from Extremadura, is a Basque project. So it's as Basque as Bercholaritza, as Basque, mm -hmm. same, same Basque uh, level. So I think that focusing on those things that are not stereotypically Basque uh, would be beneficial too, so that they can, you know, go beyond mm. the stereotype. Uh, Nico, do you have any question? Uh, no, because I was uh, trying to solve the technical issues. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I, 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 I wasn't um, very, 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 very in, in the conversation. Uh, no. I, heard, I heard some words, but no, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, in the chat uh, here we have a question uh, that 
it say how how about the sumo streams from these guys from on the on the road well i don't know if you know david uh, there are uh, some guys of Ondaru streaming uh, sumo. sumo in Basque, well, in Ondaru Tar Basque, <laughs> <Gallera. laughs> and it's very funny because it's like you don't speak uh, to, to... It's the weird, weird Basque internet. Yes. Uh, uh, people from Ondaru streaming sumo for uh, people from Maspeiti. It's uh, magical. Yeah. yeah <laughs> I, but, I but, that, but that's like, um, there's um, a, a band from Lecatio, that gypsies from Lecatio that, that sing flamenco in Basque. Uh -huh. uh, uh... And, uh, <clears throat> I'm not going to remember that. There's another one in, 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 in San Sebastian too, and in, in Bilbao. Like I know, like I use, I play flamenco and I've played with gypsies from um in, uh, UK, no? in the uk too but also in i want to say the place in portugalete oh. and oh, yeah. uh and uh, they sing in basque and they sing uh songs and, and they speak basque it's not like they 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 took basque for the song but they're gypsies singing flamenco in basque so what is this is that basque music <laughs> is it not basque music because it's flamenco yeah but they're Basque, they they are Basque, yeah, but they play music that maybe is not Basque. So again, like uh, I I like I like um um like we we'll say uh, for the for the for the American audience um <laughs> improvised uh, oral poetry, okay, virtualitza and all that. And uh, uh, once I was in a meeting uh, talking about different um, uh, improvisation cultures around the world and all that and I, I was with with a guy from Murcia another one from Catalonia and I uh, mean yeah uh, and maybe someone from Mexico I would say but uh, the thing is that uh, uh, we were talking about uh, what uh, what is uh, our um, uh, culture and all that and uh, their their uh, understanding uh, understanding of uh, what was their their culture was uh, extremely closed, like <laughs> like we, we, we would we would uh, take uh, Bob Marley's songs, uh, change the 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 the, the rhythm and uh, make it a verso, but for them it it was like no <laughs> we have five. Uh, melodies or uh, whatever you call them and uh, we, we will sing uh, only with uh, those melodies and uh, that uh, never has been my culture like uh, we've we've been uh, all the time um, improvising um, uh, trying different things uh, mixing and uh, <laughs> it, it was uh, very strange for me like uh, to, to 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 see uh, someone like uh, taking their culture as something very 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 um, close uh, close like like li limited, you know. Uh, also yeah. Mugatua, not not close, but uh, in in like in Mugatua. <laughs> limited. Yeah. yeah, limited. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and that's the again like we talk about like like pure you know like purists i mean like yeah. having like kind of like a pure pure culture but yeah also in in, in galicia there's the same thing regaifa regaifa is the same thing as virtualitza but um basically just yeah, in, in fact in fact uh, in on Daru, i think uh, they do something or oh, i I've, I've seen uh videos from on Daru. Uh, they do a uh, regaiverto which mm -hmm. is oh. a mix of uh, Regaifa and Bercholarita. Well, it's not a mix, uh, like uh, a different uh, culture, but uh, uh, Regaif Regaifeiros, Regaifeiros uh, um, come to Ondaru or whatever, and uh, they sing a song, um, th they sing and, and learn with uh, with people from Ondaru. So well, that's it's fair. like, and, and they uh, go back to it's 
Um, yeah, that's very interesting. Sharing, sharing their cultures, yeah. <laughs> eh, gauzatxo bat barkatu, eh? Esango, esango dut euskeraz, eh, idatzi zutxatean eh, ikerrek eukene prestagola. Eh, baina eskimene eukenek esaten du mugikorretik behin posible, ez ikutu ezer. Ez ah, vale. Ez dakit. Vale. Ya está, barkatu. Sorry. Ba, ba, na, 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 nahi bau zue... Esan gotzi zue zere eukene eri buruz, historio... Interes Vega, bai! <laughs> Itxen, e, e, itxaso hemen dago, eta zer rutan gelditu ginen itxasorekin? Iposo Porque... orain. Claro, e, ba, a ber, kontatzen dezu historia azkar, baina azkar, porque itxaso itxaiten dago, eta eske dago, denbora esente, horregatik, oza... E... Vale, vale. Ez ez ez, baina, baina, e, beira, gauza tingo dugu, gauza tingo dugu. Biar goin tu, tu du, a zing. Ja. E, ingo duguna dau. You are going to carry eh, <laughs> itxaso. Kaixo itxaso. Eitxen, ez entzuten. Kaixo, vale. hau da. Vale, vale, ya está. E, e, orain ja ez dago itxe iten eta ordun. E, vale, baina hemen kontua Mariela, Mariela bizatu behar da igual, eh? Bultatzeko. A ber... Dicho, en harina y zordutegia begiratzen. Bueno, bai, bera, eh... Maria, Maria Lamenda, o sea... Bai, ah, vale, itxu, vale, vale. Itxutzen ari da, eh? Vale, 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 perfecto, perfecto. Ah, pues begira, David, orain nitz egin dezakegu euskaraz. Ah, <laughs> oh. Oh. Ai! Oso estresatuan egon, eh? Zati erren gatik, oso estresatuan egon, benetan. Uf. A ber, eh, zer, zer, gauza bat, zer gat... Zergatik nik entzuten dut orain bikoitza? Ehm, ez dakit. Ai, txu... Ai, ama. Vale, ehm... Ehm... A ber, iruñe... Vale, bueno, berdin du. Bueno, pues ni, nirekin itzen gozo, eh? <laughs> ehm, e, kaixo itxaso, azteko. Ehm, a ber, ehm... Biko iztuta entzuten dut. A ber, joe... Hori nor, nor baite kaskoak edo ez baditu ba, at, at, ateratzen den soinua berri osartzen da, eta behar bada bi. Eh, a ber... <coughs> Euke... Eh. Eh, ez dakit, eske ez dakit oain txubertan, ez dakit... Ze, oain arte ez ez eduki, ez? Ez, Eskenik ez 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 aldatu orain. Eukene, zu kaskoak dituzu? Ah, orain sartu eukene. Bai. Bale, e, aberritzen, joe. Barkatu. E, bai, eukene ere nada, ze muteatu berri dut eta orduan bale, jaiz da. Orduan eukene sartuko et? E, bai, baina, bale. osea, tita batean, agurtu berko dugu, David. Bale. Aitzen, a ber, e, ordun... Baina e, nik jakin nahi dut historia, itxaso, eh? Itxaso aterako, et, eske, eske, a ber, eske Lasai. mobia da, eske mobia da, eta Bimi uztara lau zulo txo, eta orduan, bestela... Uf. A, bestela, kendu, kendu ni, eta, eta ni entzuten nau zu, eh? Gero ja jarriko diaz, jarriko nau zu. A, vale, a ber, itxen, a ber, e, itxen. Ez, 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 e, eske ez un jaleo eso. Ez, ez, ez. E, a ber, itxaso, oain txez hartuko zaitu, bale? Benetan, lasai. Gustore, gustore nabizuek entzuten, azike... No, <laughs> lasai. Gure, English, vale. it English. Jo, barkatu, eh. E, a ber. Ah, vale. Orain, orain, sartuko a... Sartuko a... Vale. Vale. E, 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 opine? Zuk, 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 e, kasko, 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 jarri, ta dauzkazu. Edo, jarri, ta dauzkazu. Bai, bai, bera, bera, eh, bera, bera, bera gatik ezutzen da doble. Baina bai, entzuta bai, gaitu? E, ni gatik baldin bada. Olatz naiz. Ah, ojo, ah, ojo, 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 vale, barkatu, ah, vale, olatzea, vale. Bai, kaskoak vale. jarri, vale. Eske, eske, vale, vale. Jarri, ah, jarri, ah, jarri, vale, vale. vale. Ba, ba, e, vale, vale, barkatu, barkatu, eske, eukenerekin gelitu behar, eta eukeneren arpegia, zinekin ik, Eta ordu nizan dugu, ez eukene izango da. Lasai, lasai. Vale, vale, barkatu lasai. Joder, vale. Orduan... 
Ba, agurtzeko David, agian kontatu aldigo hemen, eman e, nahi dugun edukia, hau da, <laughs> kontatzean nahi baldin badu, pues, eukeneren, bai, a, eukenerekin bai, duen aventura, horia. aventura hori. Nahi duzu bezala, euskeraz eta angeleraz. Na, 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 ba, zera, uh, gauza zera da, ni eh, deustu negon nintzen unibertsitatean eta... <coughs> Eh, eh, Quién es eh, Irakas Levat, John Franco, John Andoni Franco, el orza Sansan está en el chaco. Va, eh, Quién es Irakas Levat, que obrena y Sansan está. Persona modua ni de ni de verdad ni de algún obrena da. Hoy Sansan. Está Quién es eh, John Andoni Franco, el orza en eh, Alabada. Está Quién es Quién es Quién es Quién es Quién es Quién Amen egongo zala, ba, sorpresa, sorpresa handia izan zan. Ara? Eta, Jon Aldoni Franco Lotza, ba, nik, oin, ni amen estatu batuetan egotearen, e, boiz, e, e, a, a, ja, como se diría, Diri, e, esango te... Erruduna. E, er, erruduna, bai, erruduna, bai. Esango nuen... E, erruduna! Ba, es, 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 es nuen erruduna esan nahi, porque erruduna, baina bai. Eta erantzulea. Dauka karga negatibo gutxiago. Bai, erantzulea, bai. Eta harekin ez nuen nire ba formulari guztiak eta gauza guztiak eh Abeitu. Eh bidali unibertsitatera hemen ta rekomendazio gutunak eta egin zituen etzeko ta bueno, gauza asko, gauza asko, gauza asko. Eh unibertsita unibertsitatea hasi <laughs> Y chulza ya está ahí, nada, está todo bien, que Cristo no Vaya, vaya, está ahorita, está ahorita, está aren alaba, alaba da. Joe, va, se pena chua eukene, caur Juan, eh, gurekin, y sate cobauquera técnico, es y sate a baña, bueno, urrengo bate taraco, va y su David de Tabita eukene. Berriz, gonbidatuak zaudete, orain TikToken esaten den bezala ez duenean ematen denborarik estoritaima bideo berean e, kontatzeko e, jarraiten du bigarren zatian. Bigarren atala. Hori da. Hori da. Es que pena, baino e, zuzenean egitaren e, magia eta arazoak hoiek dia. <laughs> Ondo ateratzen dena magia eta arazoak denean, bueno, pues visita. Visita. Bueno, eh, yes. bueno, bueno eh, David, eh, ni caso gutxi ni zut barkatu nazu, eh, arazokin neon galako, baino eskerk asko dotortza gatik, eta... eta hori. Yes. Ez, ez, da, ez da izan abarmena, eta orduan, oin, oin bak igo izan dozulako, baino bestela. <laughs> <laughs> eh, bueno, okay. ba, hori. Eh, espero, et, eh, ratatxe gina pasatzea zuk, eh, Público a querer, barre, barre, ingo su tener, por el sufrimiento de Aren. Eh, eh, ni crees que pasa todo, te es vada y garri. Bueno, eh, eh, ni queré, ni queré. Vaya, bueno, eh, visita, visita. Vale, va. Orlautico de Gubeta, Jungo de Aurrengo. Vale, pasera. vale. Va, es que casco, David. Eh, pasa a ti. Ay, yo, mi yo, si el pasa a Aren. Vale, es ahora en. Eh, marca tú. Eh, ahora en. Eh, echen, a ver. Orain, sartuko ez. Ehm, ez, itxen. E, a ber. Bueno, vale. kaixolatz. <laughs> ez eukene, kaixolatz. <laughs> Ongi etorri, eh? Eta barkatu, barkatu. Ez bueno, izan dugu hor, nik uste dut zela pixka bat, kaosa, entre ingeleraz egin behar genuela. Bai. Itxen, Ikusi eh? zaitu ustez, gainera, ni ez naizo hartu pandaian enguela. O sea, acepta tu anenguela. Orduan, claro, sube que eukene eukene tan iba eh, Mayra Begira. Casco en Begira Zen. Claro, es que. Eh, Performance. Vai, vai, vai. Pisca, pisca jaleo, pisca jaleo, barca tu, barca tu. Bueno, es hermoso, de te. Oye, vale, vale, vale. Garrantzitsuena. La gian aurreko gonbidatu bai ez diegula galdetu den belako urduri alde batetiken Marielaren gatik eta eta gero ingelesez egin ber genuela bagenekinako. Igual ez aquí, igual ikuse entzulek ez dakite, baino gu biok gaur goizean egongea deustun 
y tal y va te maten <risa> eh, tagero eh, onekin eta kago gaude goizean neon gaa eh, en plan gauza importanteak esan nahian eta oain ere pixkat espabilatuta mantendu nahian eta hori da kristen agotamentu mentala orduan pues gure gaude <risa> bezala eh, super pozik eta super emozina duta baina joder <risa> Buf, eta orduan pues horrek ere eragiten du eh. Bueno, a ver, me encanta enganchar tu tabla de ahora diga Diego Naiselo, ah, bueno. Javier, está bueno, compañero de Kun, eh, en el futuro de Gogo, en el futuro de Kun, o la cheta vio que vi ligar ahora, eh, WhatsApp, eh, tic, eh, esa tarila netan, es que te comentaste, eta, oso gusto, eh, eta, es que tú, ah, es que ricasco con vida pena gatic. Se guay, se guay. Eh, es algo de Gu, eh, pues le lengo a un guía, eh, eh, ikasleekin, ¿vale? Eh, estatu batutako ikasleekin, gero ongea, eh, Euskal Herritar eh, estatu batu hartuekin, ¿vale? Eta, eh, orain gaude, eh, or, hau izango da gehiago... Um, Sortza ilain plaza. Sortza, hori da, vale. Eh? Bai, eh, gustatzen da egu beti, ezakit norbaitek ikusiztun, baina eh, oain dela urte bat, egin genuen antzeko ekimen bat, Eta e, baitaren en un antzeko perfil bat, ¿eh? Zor la gustatzen zaigu e, sortzale y e, pues haotxe matea eta guztia. Eta hor dan, pues, ba, pixka bat e, hortazitza egiteko. Bai, azken, azkenean garrantzitsua da, ¿eh? Gure artean ere disciplina edo formatu ezberdinetan e, euskeraz sortzen gabiltzanok e, gure artean babestea eta aukere matea, ba, e, ikustarazteko eta eta gora gora joateko, ez? Eta bueno, pizkat asteko agian zuen buruak, bueno, nago ikusten horrela pantailan hemen zaituzte dalako, baina kamara bukat hemen asiko begiratuko dut horruntza. E, pizkat len es e, bestei e, galdetu diegun egin diegun lehenengo galdera izan da e, zuen buruak aurkeztea. Ze guk su emburua que orquestó baño o ve y se atenda norbera pero buru a orquestea orduan ori ahora no hay igual de mal su e, y chasro de do de do lat no hay dos en modo an así venga va e, bueno van y chasro pilla ruiz nights e, algo tarra visca y tarra está bueno y e, casto la mica sino en euskaras baño gura su e, Euskararekiko jarrera oso ona zeukaten, eta horri esker ba, Euskaldun du gintuzten, iru nebarrebok, iru nebarreba gara, irurok bertsolariak, irurok eh, kulturaren munduan eh, beratutakoak, eh, ba, bai literaturan, antzertian, dantzan, edo esan behar bat ez ere bertsolaritzan. Eta bueno, ba, gaur egun antzerki lanetan banabil, eta gero ekoizle edo kultura, ekoizle edo kulturgile, edo bueno, ez dakite kontzeptu zehatza zein izango den, ea Mariela molatu daitekin horrekin, baino pizkatori izango litzateke, ba, euskara eta kultura sustatzen, e, ba, berdintasunetik, kulturatik, euskaratik, pizkatori izango litzateke, y de ella. Eta y para tu de Ardut, o la que te vio, el que eres aguste en Dugula, eta o la que y Sandela y Sansen, bueno, va, ni de su sendaria, e inmueble oh. antes la en Guayeneta con Batean, actor el Anax su sendusis que gumbera, que está, va, el que no está vida en casu a mesa, la gurea te anere, va, y tu va la golotura política. Joe, va a ser guay porque gusta. Dicho en fantasía. Bye, bye. Esa es una de esas villas tu aisan. <risa> eh, ba, con un tacto de su canjende, a tal usted dice, guay. Eh, Orla con esa política, guía. Eta, eh, gañera orain, eh, eh, orain, va a ver, ni da aquí Dreyago, eh, y ya suena, eh, orain da Villela, edo, ya busca tu, orain ya busca tu costum, supongo, sorte procesual, ¿eh? Va. Bueno, eh, justo ahora hay, bueno, sorte proceso a Betty, o sea, está aquí te bueno, amaitea posible. Esa no hay nun, eh, 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 macumea. Va, yo hablaré de quién. Horrible. Va, y es eh, estrena tu. Horrible, va, y a Saro a Mayeran estrena tu genuen, que hecho en música barrin, eh, ahora con Amadiño Negón Niñen, está bueno, va, ahora hay eh, asmo a Bada, urren urtean se agarre, eh, riserri vilcea, y ahora va, macume sorza y en McDonald's así o Ariburusco, ya tira música al batequín. A usar tu gara, eta horretan gabiltza, brain. Ze guai, ze guai. Mm -hmm. eh, 
Eta, eh, olatz, zu, es que, es que, eh, marca tú. Eh, eh, su ser, ser tan sabilta, porque es que si tú, o sea, mori. Es no su saúche. Mori. <risa> Esa es la Y ya soy que tú te saúche, en bañón. Eh, referencia mínima de Baucas, bueno, eres acá, marca tú, nazo. Eh, Bye. Ni han ser que garay que dian egitendo tlan. E, gehien bat antzerki dokumentu alantzen dut, nire mm -hmm. sorkuntza propioa denean, e, beraz benetazko historioekin egiten dut lan, eta gehienetan nire nortasunarekin zerikusia duten historioekin, ero nire interesekin. Memoria historikoa, e, rock radikoal baskoa izan da azken no? lana, orain diasporaren e, inguruko lan bat e, jorretzen dabil, eta, eta bueno, ba horretan, bai, antzerki egoztenetan, zuzendari eta antzerki gile moduan, bai. Eta jo, e, ikusita gau den kontestuan, garatu ezakezu pixka bat gehiago hora indiasporaren inguruan egiten ari zaren la nori? Bai. Bueno, pixka bat e, zerta zuan. Bai, Sinopsia. Bueno, bai. Iaz, e, Txepara Institutua eta e, California State University of Bakersfielderi esker, eta, mm -hmm. bueno, are gehiago, ba, euren irakaslei esker, ez da, Steven eta Ikerreri esker, <laughs> aukera izan nuen bertara e, joatea, eta e, Euskal, bertoko Bakersfieldeko Euskal Diaspora ezagutzeko, e, ba, garatu egin nahi nuen antzeslan honen inguruan. E, antzeslana Euskaraz eta ingeles ez egitea nahi nuen, edo ingo dut, Eta orduan lehen enfasean nago borradore bat egin nuen, zirri borro bat, eta orain ba bilatu behar dut e, momentua hori garatzeko eta nire intentzioa da Euskal Herritik kanpo egitea eta bueno, ba migratu egin duten pertsona horien e, inguruan berba egitea e, Euskaldunen inguruan, Euskal Diasporaren inguruan, baina bueno, migrazio guztien edo askoren e, islada direnak. Jo, ez da interesgarria, ez? Bereziki e, non kokatzeko e, ikuspegia, ez? E, azkenean Euskal Herriaz e, edo Euskal Herria izango da, ez? Pues hortikan orokorrean dagoen gai zentrala, baina ze ikuspegi ez berdinetatik, ez? Ze gainera, kao, zu Euskal Herri tarrazara, Euskal Herrian bizizara eta jartzea besteen, ez? E, paperean azalean ez, e, antze ez lana idazterako orduan, wow, kriston ariketa. Bueno, kontutan hartu behar da antzerki garaikidea dela, testi gantzekin egiten do dela lan, mm -hmm. eta antzerki dokumentua denez ni beti egon behar dut historia horrekin lotuta, edo beraz nire ikuns puntua da. O sea, ezin dut pertsona guztiei itza emon, ez da antzik claro. klasikoan on pertsonaiak dauden, e, elkarriz dialogoak dauden eta bar, beraz forma oso esberdina da. Forma o izango sea. da e, e, gaztien inguruko, e, e, ez dakit nola esan, solasaldia edo horrelako no. speech bat. Ondo ulertu da limet, zu bakarrik zea, egiten du hori, o sea, zu bakarrik. Eta ni okat galdera bat pizka totxa dena baina aldi berean bakoizterio mate dela e, bere movida botatzeko. Ta da um, e, zuek sortzerako momentuan ba dago zerbait bultzatzen zaituena sortzera. Osea ba dago zerbait esaten dizuena nik sort ez dakit zerbait eukitza ai bies nik e, realizazio ikasi e, realizazio ikasi osea berrela e, realizazio ikasi nun e, nei nulako kontatu historia bat eta nei nun e, buruan neukan, barru, barruan neukan zerbait eta nahi nitun ezagutza teknikoak hori kontatzeko, porque nik hori kontatu nahi nun. Zuek e, sortzerako momentuan, zer da, e, pues, aizeak nondik bialtzei zuen edo daukazu e zerbait, bueno, <laughs> barkatu estresa, e, edo, 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 edo daukazu e barruan zerbait bat de e, hau nahi et kontatu eta emendik nahi et kontatu, emendik nahi et ikusi mundua, ez? Hola, pixka bat. Así yo la he llevado su brainwan. <risa> vale. Va eh, claro, va y pulsada orida go. Ni de casual ni de inter, interés personal a da. Ori ni de sorme en propio etan. Se ve este bachutan, la niguitendus va a este compañenza, te do institución, ta gaia, va a dar torre, do testua, va a dar torre, requines, ta veste mota bate con la nada. Baña ni ni de cabus la niguitendus anean, pulsada va a dar go, interés super personal a. Eta ba, egiteko behar hori, militantzia bat da, baita kultura ez da, eta hori. 
esiketa ariketa bat ere bada. Beraz, bai, niretzat oso lan pasionala da. Eta gainera, o sea, horrekin nahiko txapana ez. Hor ba, banabil igual urte bete movida batekin buruan plastikoa, 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 ekologismoa, ta, 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 horrela ateratzen dut. Eta itxas hori antzeko parezio gertatuko zaila, ez da? Identifikatu sentitzen naiz, identifikatu sentitzen naiz zure e, ikuskera horrekin negia esan, esan barret. Ba, nire kasua oso antzekoa, o sea, oso pasionala naiz ere bai, eta sormena bada txikitatik daukaban zeho zer, ba, eskerrak e, nire ama oso tardona zen, eta oso berando etortzen zen nire bila lekuetara, eta orduan e, horra zenitzen gauzak asmatzen, ez, esaten da sormena askotan, bada torrela asperduratik, edo, eta nik ezin dute bitatu, o sea, nire bil sortzen demora guztian gustatzen zaidana, eta zaidana gustatzen, e, baina ateratzen da, gero egia da, ba, urtek, eta eskarmentuak, eta enekok esan duen bezala, ba, e, ikasteak, edo behar bada sakontzeak, ekartzen dizula aukeratu alizatea, ez, non dik eta nora, nola, Baina nire, nire abebai da berezkoa totalmente, da, ez dakit, ez, 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 da, ez, ez da bilatu behar eta batzutan inkluso esaten dut zertarako hain beste sortu, ez, ba, nahiko nuke egon, hortxe, ez, batxori malo baten moduan batzutan, ta, da, pues, e, nira mal horizonte esaten dena, baina ez, berezkoa da eta badator eta da, ba, hori, ba, hementxe elkartu gara nik uste dut e, lau perfiloso antzeko, ez? <laughs> Ez berintasunen entzeko, bai, 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 aros, aros, aros. Eta nik badut kuriositatea. Adibidez, eho latz, zukaipatu duzu aurreko urtean Bakersfieldeen egon zinela, ez, ba, zure e, azkeneko lan hau garatu dokumentatze aldera, zuek, zuen sortze edo sorkuntza lanak e, aurkeztu dituzu edo pues, antzerez lan baten kasuan e, antzestu duzu Euskal Herritik kanpo, bertsotan ibili zarete Euskal Herritik kanpo. Eta nolakoa izan da, ala izatekotan, izan duzuen arrera. E, bai, bueno, nire kasuan e, Espainian, adibidez. Mm-hmm. Eta e, lanon, bueno, Eta, bai, eta beste batzutan ere ibili naiz. Ez nire produkzio propioarekin, ekoizpen propioarekin, baina beste lanetan bai, Europan. E, ez asko, eh? Baina Espainian bai. E, rock radical baskoaren antzez lan adibidez, Galizian egin dugu, osarrera honarekin, eta, eta estatu batuetan, e, izan di, esan dudan e, esperientzia bakarra e, sortzaile moduan, Bai, bertan izan zen Bakersfielen, bertan egin zuten Euskal Simposio baten inguruan eta izan zen lan oso sumea, ba, hilabete baten egin nuen zirribor hori adibide moduan e, pieza bat baino. Eta, e, e, agian ez, eh? baina, e, euki ez zue, e, ulertuta, ez, zuen e, sor, sorkuntza, sormena, e, zerai, komprometitua bezala, komprometitua zuzatan kausa batekin, zenetek ez duekin? Eh, sentitu ez zue eh, noiz bait eh, mugaren ba, osea, muga, kostopoak, eh, horrelako gauzak sentitu ditu zue, fluitu ez zue, nola, nola kudatu ez zue hori. Eh, azkenean, ez, eh, oso gauza propioak egiten, eh, edo oso, ez, eh, barrura egizten dezkizun gauzak, ka, eh, oztopoak agian kudatza komplikatu hago, ez, eh? Bai, hor, e, bueno, nire kasuan e, e, lengo galdera berreskuratuz, egia da sorte handia izan dudala eta e, Kubara joan nintzen bertsoetan. Eta bueno, ba, ba Mexikoko eta Kolombiako eta beste munduko hain bat lekutako improvisatzaileekin batera egon ginen bertsoetan. Eta bueno, ba, gauza marabilloso bat. Izan zen urtero egiten dena, gutxi gora bera, horrek izan ziren jornada zeroamerikanaz de improvisadores o berseadores jóvenes. Dara Jantzenigro, León en ere, España en ere, Ibilitan ago, León en Bertan ere, Bertxotan ere, Ibilitu ginen, e, Liverpool en ere, Egondan ago, Ira Ortigosa da Bertako da irakaslea, eta antxe egon nintzen, berarekin, e, Bertxolari pelikula ikusi genuen, e, sola salditxo bat egin genuen, orduan, e, ba, bueno, niri saltxa hau asko gustatzen zei, eta botatzen dut, baten baten gombiatu nahi banau, interrekambio bat egiteko presto. Gino, gino, bazo, bazo. Eta gero, muga ari dago kien, Ba, bueno, e, muga asko, ez? E, ez dakit nire kasuan, e, bertsolaritzaren kasuan, ba, muga bat e, algortarra izatea, Euskaldun Berria izatea, e, ez izatea, beste muga bat emakume bat izatea, e, e, irik 
asko a izatea, o bueno, ez dakit, mugak asko, e, baina lehen esan bezala, adinak, e, eskarmentuak eta ikasketak, e, ematen dizu aukera, demorarekin konturatzeko, ma, nola egin jardinen gazak, eta zelan egin behar den, gaur egun ere niri gertatzen zahir, holtzatik bajatu eta esaten dut, baina, ¿quién me manda? Es, o sea, <risa> ese momento tan sergatik, baina, baina lehen esaten genuen bezala gero, ba, pasioa, es, eta, eta su hori. Lehen, e, inglés es de Sandet, eta, eta probablemente es de Ulertu, ordu no lehen esango, eta Mariela kituliko du, e, asko, e, E, espero que te reyes a Mariela. E, e, Leen esa tenun, e, Gonincela, movía tan, flipa tu ciana, e, te dicen tan, e, nació arte con improvisación en e, Yarduna Libazu, que es la Donostin, e, capitalidad cultural en movía reta. Y e, te dicen tan flipante. Y te tan flipante. O sea, ni mierda y que usted se pilla. Vimilia Tairuan, e, insuten, bat usted Bilbon, y te dicen Eta ni hor, no es nintzen txikia, en verdad, baina e, ez nintzen, ez nintzen, ez nintzen, ez nintzen. Euskaldunan, ni hor nintzen. <laughs> eta ni nintzen jun, eta e, ikusi nintzen bideoak eta horrela, eta zeren, jo, ezko guapo, no sé qué, tal. Eta, oain, e, donostin negon zanean, nik zeren, nik horre jun behar dut, pero 100%. Eta izan zan, esperientzia super flipante bat. E, izan zan, super, e, buah, e, gozatu nintzen pila bat. Eta neri e, esperientzia hori, de hecho, momento en Neria de Vies, eh, o sea, ni ni es nais bercholaria ni nais zalea <laughs> eta frustratu a baitare, baño es nais bercholaria. Eh, baño gustatu zait beti gustatu zait hori. Asko baño kontua da eh nikeukinun gatazka eta bira, hemen alguien gai bat plantatuko et eh nel esperientzia tik tiraka ta nikeukinun gatazka bat euskal identitatearekin. Zeni nintzen sentitzen identifikatua Euskal, ni Euskalduna es, ni Euskalduna nintzen, ¿vale? Baina Euskalduna egi gusten zitezkien gauzan, nire zitezkien gustatzen. Orduan, nik esan, ni Euskalduna naiz. Edo ez naiz Euskalduna, oze kresto naiz. Eta, jardunaldi internazional hoiek, hoiek inflipatu nun, porque eske bertxola ditza ia ezan, e, Euskaldunek bakarrik iten zuten zerbait. Bertxola ditza ezan, kubako pao batek iten zuten zerbait, bertxola ditza ezan, mexikar batek iten zuna, bertxola ditza ezan, munduarekin konektatzen gintun traizio bat. Vale? Eta hor esan un ala que guapo, ala que guapo. Ni kau naidet esploratu pila bat. O hain flipatzen diate pila bat Murtziako improvisatzaileek. O sea, por favor, qué fantasía. Benetan. O sea, batzuk pizkat zurbiak dira esate dituzten gauzetan, baina eski ke fantasía, benetan. Da super salvaje horrela gaitan, bueno, perdona. Eta flipatzen dit pila bat horrek. Eta orduan eh, jopena bat, pena ematen dit baitar, eh? E, agian, zuek eukia zue, eta hortikan zei joan galdera, zuek eukia zue, zuen identitate, identitate gatazka eukia dituzu. Ez da bai da horiek, de desenkajeak. Nola, hori nola? E, nik ez dut identitate edo nortasun gatazkarik izan. E, 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 ez dakit, o sea, ez dakit ondo nola saldu. E, ni Euskalduna izan aiteke, edo Euskara segin dezaket berba, bilbon bizi, e, bueno, baina bai... bai... Identitate gatazka bain esaten un, orokorrean, eh? izan daiteke Euskaldu, nik Euskalduna izan derekin, baina zuka gian, ez dakit, eh, azukra guztatzen derekin, osa, me da igual. E, yeah. Baina identitate gatazka keukitzaren inguruan orokorrean. Bueno, bai. ez inbestekoa da e, dualtasun hori izatea, ez da? O sea, bai, feminista gara, nora arte, antikapitalista gara, nora arte, ez? O sea, zaila da... Zaila da horre egotea, niretzat erabakirik errezena da lasaitzea. Ez dakit. Gauza kargi ditut eta <laughs> lasaitzea izan da beti niretzat errezena edo, edo arlo horretan behintzat oso exigentea, nirekiko oso exigentea ez izatea. E, errezena ez dakit da, baina oso guapo da. <laughs> o sea, lo, e, gai izatea, ez? Esateko bala saitzea, jo, e, e, op, elevante. Claro, ni de caso en las hay las hay tas uno retar iritsi arte de dolan, o sea, iritsi berritan nago, orain 31 urte bete berri dauzkat eta esan genezak ego eta 13 urterekin eh jarri dudala nire burua nahi nuen lekuan eta bueno, identitateari lotutako gatazkak izan dira, ba bueno, asteko ta adibide bat jartze arren txikitan eh euskalduna izan nahi bazenuen, ba bertso txapelketara joan behar bazenuen eta takoiak jantzi nahi bazeniduen, hor araso bat zegoen. E, identitate, ez, euskalduna, bertsolariatako jekin, 
moren di que se n'existitzen. Orduan ezin zen, ez? Edo euskalduna izan eta nik lluvia de estrellas programara, joan nahi nuen, Bertinoz Bornek aurkesten zuen programa superkutre bat, baina nik txikita norra joan nahi nuen, ate magiko bat zegoen, eta Mari Soles jartzita agertu nahi nuen, nik tombola kantatzen. Nik, Mari, tipo, dutxera juterakoan eta askotan egiten diot horrela, lluvia de estrellas eta horrela egiten zutelako, eta zikoa agertzen zen, eta horrela egiten diot horrela gatik, oza, claramente. Hori da, eta nik, ba, bueno, lako etara joan nahi nuen, baina ezin zen, ez, euskalduna nintzelako, eta nola baitzen como joder, o sea, euskalduna izateak badauka olako ekipaje o txikita meintzatu lertzen ez duzuna, ez? Gero, ja, ba, bueno, euskara okea etorri zen, eta gero beste egin bat aukera etorri zeren euskara zere bai, guazen bera, eta... Baina, bueno, egia da, arazo handiak, edo makillatu nahi nuen, baina hori ez etorren bat, ba, euskala bertzaletasunarekin, edo, bueno, ba, euskalo, ez? Eta gero, ba, olatzek esan duena, ba, gero ja ikasten dugu, e... Gorputzarekin gauza bera, ez? Emakume baten gorputza, hasi eran uste dugu modu batekoa izan behar dela eta gero ikasten duzu hain beste, ez? Kaka guzti hor diguruz, baina, baina, bueno, urte asko irauten du nera bezaroak eta hori dena eta arguan, ba, hor, bai, gatazka dezente. Baina, borroka egin dugu eta gaur egunera iritsi gara, ba, olatze bezalako erreferentei eskerre de bai, ez? Nortzuk bide bat zabaltzen duzu. Nire kasuan politikak eta... Eta antzerkiak asku lagundu nau, txikitatik. Ba, izabaltzen edo nire lukua topatzen edo behintzat ni ero sogoten. Eta adibidez, aipatu duzuen horrekin ez, nola zen normalean, ere nazio artean, kasu honetan adibidez estatu batuetan, lehen izan ditugun ikasleekin, ikusita eta zuen aurretik ere da bitzegon dela, atera dena da, pixkat, nola ze bukolizatua dagoen Euskal Herria eta nik uste dut ere egiten duela nahiko match, ere itxasok aipatu duen arekin de ze zurrunak izan garen eta izaten garen hora indikan ez Euskararekin lotutako gauzekin eta pixkat bat aipatzarren ez nola hor dagoen arazo edo gatazka nagusia, hemen guk duguna Euskal Herrian Euskararekin iruditzen zait dela aizialdiar Euskara aizialdian erabiltzea eta aizialdia Euskaraz bizitze arekin, ze dago hain estandarizatua, akademizatua, ez, iruditzen zait horrek ere laguntzen duela nazioartean horrela izatea gomo izkuntz zaharrenetarikoa basaja hola mia Nik hor eta justo itxasok esan duen etikan tiratu behar nun bai irutzen zait dagoela irunik esaten duen etik baina baita ere irutzen zait eta irutzen zait hau gai interesgarria dela gombiatu entzako dagoela baita ere askotan kontatuak izan gehala kanpotik kontatuak izan gehala kontatuak Beste batek, beste handiago batek eukiditula baliabide gehiago gu kontatzeko, gu imaginatzeko. Eta horrek, egindula kasu askotan, euskaldun izateari euskarak entzen bai ozu, identitatea beste nun baiten topatu behar dezu. Eta nun topatzen dezu, pues, bilbokoa zentu tontoan. Porque, bueno, ni ez nahiz bilbokoa, baina nez ez uste azentu hori benetan existitzen da nik. Horreta, txik... Baia zeman, nita izan zen aberrazio bat zentu horretan. Osa, txikiteoa eta eu pesatea. Claro, horri, gehitzen balin bai ozu izkuntza, konplexutasuna biderkatzen dezu pila bat. Porque izkuntza batean bizi zaitezke oso modu ezberdinetan. Eta iruditzen zait, hori izan dela, askotan, bukolizazio horren arrazoietako bat izan dela, izkuntza gabe, sortu dan, identitate bat dala, edo izkuntza gabe planteatu dan zerbait dala. Eta klau, izkuntza gabe beste nun baita etikan hartu behar dezu. Baina izkuntzak ematen dio konplexutasun pila bat, porque ez duk izkuntza batean egin dezak ez dudo zer. Egon zaitezke tuitxen, egon zaitezke harri jasotzen, eta egon zaitezke ezakit. Hori da nire puntua. Hori da nire puntua. Nire esperientzian, Bakersfielen adibidez, Claro, eh, folklore horren, eh, edo, bueno, no la eurek bizi duten folkloretik eta ez kulturatik edo ez behintzat kultura garaikidetik, ez dator izkuntzatik ze jende asko kitzegiten du 
euskaraz bertan, o sea, bigarren ta irugarren e, e, belaun aldietan. O sea, ta hori pasa bat da. Ez dakit zein den puntua, ez dutu lertzen, orain dik ez dutu lertzen, ta niretzat flipante izan zen. E, gainera itxasoren anairekin e, nebarek nego nintzen bertan. E, eta e, orain dik ez dutu lertzen nola transmisio hori Euskal Herritik bertara, ze esken finean, komunitatea berdina da, edo, bueno, edo guztio gara Euskaldunak, naiz eta idiosinkrasiaz berdinetan bizi, ez daket klabea zein den, baina fenomeno bat da, niretzat. Mm. O sea, ikasteko, bueno, pila bat jendek ikasi egin du edo horretaz egin du berba, ez, baina, bai, ikertzeko dagoen fenomeno bat. Mm. Igual ez dut asko erantzu, baina, ez ken niri erantzun ditzen nau. Bai, bai, bai. Gaiak. Bai, e, niretzat ere izkuntzarenaz, adibidez nire kasuan, ba, Kubara joan nintzenean edo Liverpoolera joan nintzenean bertxotara, anazkenean, claro, e, gainerako improvisatzaile guztiek, ba, musika instrumentuak dauzkat, e, edo peatzen berezi bat, kanoatzenariak, e, atertzen gara hor, ez den atokia horrean, gure arropa normalekin, e, eskuak atzean, eta bakoitza bere hautsarekin kantatzen, ez? Tarduan egia da, e, askotan aipatu izan didatela, jo, ba, izkuntzak, ba, daukala, ez, kanpora joan aizen guztietan, ba, izkuntza, sonoritatea, edo ez dakit zer, ez, e, mitolog, zera mitologiko horrek guztiak, ez dakien norbaiti, arreta ditu dio, izkuntzak, berez. Baina gero egia da, ba, bueno, sortzita dagoela, epika bat, terriblea. E, Kasuan egia da, asko lagundu zidala, e, bueno, nik ere beinkin nuen garai bat, euskaraz ez nuena hitz egiten, edo nuena hitz egin naiz, ez en guaiena. Eta, eta kasu horretan deskubritu nuen Euskal Herriaren historia. E, historia bat basego ela horratzean, e, e, izkuntzak eta herriak basituela, basukala historia bat, ez zela orain dela unurteko sabino aranak asmatutako gauza bat, ez? Orduan horrek ere asko, asko, asko engantxatu ninduen. Nire, nire kasuan. Eta adibidez hor, agian gakoa egon daiteke ere gurera eta etorrita e, zer den euskal kultura, ez? Ze horrekin ere... Osa, orain dik orain, nik uste dut e, egiteke dagoen ez da bai da bat dela, inork ez duela e, jarri nahi en plan <laughs> hor, baina... Baina nik uste dut... Egiteke edo egin, e, e, egin egi ez dute daon, eh? Bai, ez dakit. Nik uste dut erabaki bat hartu behar dela, hau da, euskal kultura zer da euskaraz sortzen den kultura edo ez? <hum> nik ez daukat erabaki zendorik hartu eta baina prentzidioz nire posizionamendua da, ba, bai, ba, euskaraz e, sortzen dena da euskal kultura. E, euskararik ez dakien algortar batek sortzen duena da euskal kultura? Ba, probablemente bai, baina e, ez era berean, orduan, ba, ez dakit horre etiketak beti, ez? Bai, bai. E, zaila da, bat bai batez esatea edo ez, e, como erabaki hori hartza, baina neri bai irutzen zait, e, euskara dela e, zentroa, eta, ba, baina bai adibidez, pues, neri guztien zaizkit asko e, debate horiek, e, bueno, Pixka mamarratxoa naiz, eta e, 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 Euskaraldian, e, egintzan, e, Euskaraldian e, jarri zuten, ez dakit, korrikaren abestia, horrelako zerbait zen, korrikaren 